I found an absolute COD esports gem on the Facebook marketplace around me. Let's talk about it. But first of all, let's go ahead and address I'm in my new room. I'm in my new room. I've got new hair. I was at an 80s party last night and somebody thought I was wearing a wig. I said thank you very much. Probably the best compliment you could have given me. But anyways, intro. Hey y'all, it's Butters. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day full of positivity and happiness as always. <laughs> and for today's video, we're playing some Call of Duty. We got to talk about a COD Relic. I'm building some new PCs here soon, which by the way, speaking of PCs, a quick word from our sponsor, Intel. We love them. Looking to upgrade your gaming setup, but want to make sure you get a good deal? Intel is partnering with Amazon to bring you lots of good deals on Intel Core CPUs, Intel Arc GPUs, and desktops. Intel Core 14th Gen processors give gamers more performance to do everything that they love. Stream, create, compete, casually game, whatever suits you. If you're looking for an incredible deal to introduce you to these powerful CPUs, y'all gotta check out the Corsair Vengeance i7500 series gaming PC powered by Intel. First of all, this ships very safely. You can unbox this, get it set up, and get to some high quality gaming fast. This system is rocking the Intel Core i5-14600K F CPU, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 GPU, 32 gigabytes of Vengeance RGB DDR5 memory, a one terabyte M.2 SSD. I also want to point out six RGB fans. Six, this PC is just as delightful to look at as it is to play. Intel builds platforms that adapt to meet the needs of you, the gamer. You are a gamer. If you want to check out the beauty of this machine and other Intel Core CPUs, Intel Arc GPUs, and other desktops, click the link down in the description below and I will also put it on the screen, if that helps. I highly recommend the Intel powered components and systems that you'll see. They've been powering my gaming and content creation career for as long as I can remember. And I know they'll serve you well. The boy has decided to leave after the ad read. Goodbye, the boy. Oh my gosh, we're here in my office. It feels like yesterday I had just set up the desk and everything. Like I said before, I'm going to do a full uh, video assembly of my office. But for now, I'm really happy with it. You can't see the rainbows in the window, though, because it has been cloudy the past couple of days, aka the past two weeks since I've been set up in this office. So freaking awesome. I'm feeling a little chaotic today. Oh, speaking of Intel, Intel sent me a little housewarming package that had this fuzzy blanket in it. It had uh, Intel cuffs. It had the pink sweatshirt that I was wearing for the ad read. So thank you guys so much. Intel is so good. I love Intel. But anyways, let's hop into some Call of Duty, which I have not played in a solid hot minute. And let's talk about the thing I found in the Facebook marketplace because it has gathered quite some traction on the internet. Here we are back on some COD. So for today's video, I am heavily intrigued by this battle pass. For once, I'm intrigued by a battle pass. Very unlike me. I just like battle passes with a burning passion, but look at this dude. I had to have him. And I also had to have the Ram 9. I like all the operators in this battle pass, so I'm actually like kind of excited to grind for this battle pass. Is that bad? How could I not be excited about a zombie soap? Are you kidding me? It had to happen. But for today's video, we're going to be using the Ram 9. I have not played a single moment of season two. I haven't played COD since probably my last video, <laughs> to be honest. I set up a temporary recording setup in the other room, but it was just so bare in the background that I felt zero creativity and felt zero desire to play games. So I'm in here now and I feel so much better. Call of Duty. Ram 9. That's the one we're going to use today. And they have Horde Point. I want to try this. Why? Look at that zombie mohawk. <laughs> How does this skull grow hair? How does that make sense? I mean, I'm not mad about it. He looks fantastic. Oh, by the way, speaking of the battle pass, I do want to mention I was going through these rewards and uh, this little helmet, I thought, oh my gosh, Halo is finally coming to Call of Duty. No, Hannah, that's not Halo. You literally have the number right here on your chair. Not Halo. Halo, not Halo. Control, survive, bonuses, and power-ups. I'm just going to play the game like I normally do. But I have a confession as an FPS gamer. I've only played two Halos in my life. I've played the Halo Reach campaign, and then I've played the Halo 1 campaign co-op, but I've never played a single second of Halo multiplayer in my life. And I have this chair. That will be remedied this year. I will figure it out. We'll play some Halo. Oh my gosh, we're playing COD. But speaking of some passionate gaming, I was on the Facebook marketplace. You guys know me. I like to buy things secondhand. I love to go on every day and just see if there's anything cool in the area. Most of my furniture comes from the Facebook marketplace. Zombies incoming. Oh, what is that? Bones. Oh, oh my gosh, zombies. Oh, that is weird to see in multiplayer. I'm all about it though. Hello. Insta-kill? No way. Okay, I was gonna say, if the insta-kill worked on enemy operators, that would be a problem. Okay, good. But I was sitting on the couch, I was enjoying my morning coffee, and I was scrolling the Facebook marketplace and saw something so monumental, I perked up immediately and said, wait a minute, I know what that is. I'll put a picture on the screen of the listing, but it was a console, an Xbox 360 signed by a bunch of Call of Duty players. I recognize those signatures anywhere, okay? <laughs> 
And I mean that in the best way possible, by the way. The listing says, not for sale, just curious about the signatures on this Xbox 360. And from what I can tell, there are so many iconic names on here. There's Replays, there's Clayster. I was reading off names, why are you so mad? <laughs> At least I was polite about it. Oh, I have a tactical insertion. I live. I live. I got stuck on the corner. I become a skeleton when I die. That's kind of fun. Victory, even though I died, I became skeleton. There's temper on here. There's replays. Goonjar. Crim6. It's really hard to read some of these, to be honest. Karma. Hastro. So many. TP. Heist. Apparently heist is like a wild signature to have. I had to reach out to this guy and let him know what he had. So I said, hi, this is definitely an Xbox 360 that was brought to Call of Duty events. Lots of signatures from COD pros, casters, creators, streamers. That is so cool to see. Let me know if you ever want to let go of it. <laughs> the dude said thank you so much for the information and he's not sure if he wants to sell it, which honestly, totally fair. Apparently the pictures of this Xbox ended up on Twitter before I tweeted it out. So if I have any information, I'll leave it down below. The dude said what I've come up with so far is that this console came from a 2013 UMG event in Atlanta signed by the players on stage. The players have been contacted. The signatures have been validated. Several of them remember signing it on stage. What the heck map am I? Oh, this is the one map that is new. Zombie. Hello, zombie. I did it. I think what's the most wild about seeing this Facebook Marketplace thing, so first of all, people who are on Twitter and in the Call of Duty community, they've already seen this Facebook Marketplace listing. It's just so cool to see a listing from Georgia be talked about on Twitter in the Call of Duty community, which the Call of Duty community is very broad. We live everywhere on the planet. <laughs> but to see so many COD gamers be like, hey, I saw that Facebook Marketplace listing too, and you know, to be so close in proximity, to me. The internet makes the world very small, but then coming together on a separate platform about the same topic makes it even smaller. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes any sense at all, but what the heck was I shooting? Is it a zombie? I don't even know. It was just really cool to see a bunch of Georgia gamers unite and be like, hey, I saw that too. And I reached out and told them what it was. And just, I don't know, it's cool. Objective player, bring me the zombies. How does it work? I, I don't know. <laughs> Look at this lounge though. Okay, all right, we sitting on the couch. We getting it done? Oh. Okay, I need some attachments on this thing as soon as possible. <laughs> oh, I like this variant. I didn't get it though, but I like it. I like the color combination. That was anticlimactic. Burger Town. It wouldn't be a Call of Duty map if you didn't include Burger Town. Keep on shooting the zombies instead of the people. <laughs> Bones. Bones. If I keep jumping, he can't hit me. <laughs> I'm a sniper. I know how to fight against snipers. Just keep it moving and shaking. <laughs> what? What? Coming out of the ground, that's so cool. What? I just spawned. Can I help you? While I was in contact with the seller, he said, Do you think you might be able to ask around to see if anybody knows who Grayson is? I think Grayson's just, you know, a fan who showed up at events and just brought his Xbox 360 and got it all signed. Why are you all conglomerating here? What is going on? What is that? Give me that. Okay, that's fun. I like zombies. Why did I never play zombies before? I don't know why. But better late than never, I suppose. Damn bones. Well, I got a UAV from killing zombies. What? Can I get an SAE? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Give me everything. No, the sniper. I miss sniping. I should snipe again. Defeat. That's okay. Yeah, the console says to Grayson. So I don't know if anybody knows who Grayson is, but Grayson, we found your Xbox. <laughs> We found it on the Facebook marketplace and it makes us very happy. And of course I had to ask this guy, how did you get this console? Was it donated? He said, I purchased it off a gentleman, older guy, two boxes of gaming stuff. This was at the bottom of one of those boxes. Do you think Grayson knows? I don't want to be that person to be like, do you think he knows? But like, do you think he knows? <laughs> what? Radiant globs give me that immediately. 25 hit fire, uh, it will be done. Anyways, it was just such a cool relic to see on the Facebook marketplace that I had to share it over on Twitter. So I'll leave my thread down below if you're interested in checking it out. A lot of people followed up, a lot of uh, COD players and everybody seemed to enjoy looking at it as well. So I think it kind of, I don't know, it brought us back to a more simple time where competitive COD was just so grassroots. Obviously if this was signed in 2013, I was a senior in high school at the time. And you know what's even more wild is that that listing is close to where I went to high school. So that's really weird. <laughs> it's a small world after all. Oh my gosh, Hannah, please figure out how to play Call of Duty again. 
But with finding this listing and seeing even more tweets of other signatures, I even signed some stuff back in the day and people were tweeting that at me and it makes me so happy. It brings me back to a more simple time when I was in college and I don't know, very wholesome memories. But seeing that just brought me back to a much more simple time and I don't know, it kind of lit a fire for gaming again for me, or at least for Call of Duty. I have not been playing enough Modern Warfare 3. I mean, to be fair, I did move houses, so it's very obvious as to why it would be hard for me to play Modern Warfare 3. I have two episodes of my Road to Interstellar out. I'm still going for it, by the way. I'm going to get it. I know everybody else has it, but I don't care. I'm going for it. Doesn't this thing look cool if you inspect it? Yeah, you do a little spin move. CSGO? I don't know her. Uh-oh. Oh, I need to learn how to aim again. Oh, speaking of CSGO, wait a minute, stand by. While I was in the moving process, I found another little gaming relic. Today's just a day of show and tell, but isn't that pretty much what most Butters videos are? Just like, look at this thing that makes me happy. This is from years ago and I found it during my move, but this basically is a bunch of CSGO knives. I got a karambit. How fun is that? I want to find a way to properly display these, but I have lots of knives, as you can probably tell. <laughs> I know someone's going to ask about the larger boxes, so if you want to see what it is, it has a little verification card that's falling everywhere, but it's just a bayonet. Is that what this is? No, it is not a bayonet. It's a huntsman knife. My bad. I don't really play CSGO. <laughs> I know the Hyper Beast camo isn't available for knives, but like to be able to have it on one in person is really cool. Yeah, gaming's really cool. It's been fun to reflect a bit on my gaming career just because of that Facebook post. I'm being smacked by a zombie. Can I help you? Sir. Sir. I'm doing it. Give me the stuff. Kaboom in multiplayer. What is going on? This event is fun. I like it. Pull out the SMG. <laughs> oh my god. You don't notice me. I'll spawn back and live. Watch. Boom. <laughs> so rude. But like I said, that Facebook post single-handedly lit a fire for Call of Duty and for FPSs, really? In a long time. You killed my friend. What am I looking at? What is going on? Why am I at an angle? Am I seeing things? Was I all whopper jawed there? I don't know. Victory. Why does that look so weird? <laughs> I also think the new scenery, the new house, the new hair. I have a new rebrand coming up. Okay. What do I show you? I'll show you something in this video. How's about I show you my new transition and we'll transition to whatever I plan on showing you. I hit him with the transition move. Hannah, you have one now. Let's see if you figure out how to use it. <laughs> I already know what I'm going to show you guys. When I get a new raid on my Twitch stream, this is what happens. Bring out the boy. already know that I'm showing you guys the raid notification for my stream because it's Wilson with little guy riding on him. Is that not the funniest thing you've ever seen? Probably not because it's not that funny, but I like it. So that's what I'm going to stick with. Feel sick. Have I used Wilson once this game? I didn't even think about that. Do I have him equipped? I don't even have Wilson equipped. That is a crime. We are equipping Wilson. There's a skin for Wilson. Stop, 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 stop. How? How does it work? It won't let me see it, but look at how cute he is. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna do a video where I get this so we can check it out in game for sure. What if I just try to do it now? Let's do some small map mosh pit. Wow. But yeah, a lot of whole new things in my life. New hair. What did I say? New rebrand. Uh, new location. Obviously, it's a really big change. Ooh, stash house. Yes, I want to play that. Now that things are decompressing after I've moved into this house and I've gotten kind of sort of settled in, it's one of those things looking back where 2022, I absolutely like hit the pavement face first. Like that year was hard on me. And 2023 felt like a fever dream. And to be honest, and I mean this in the nicest way possible, I think maybe, I don't know. Um, we were playing Modern Warfare 2 2022, which honestly did feel like a fever dream. I'll try to find the words for describing that game. Like it was well made, but like it just felt like a fever dream. What was going on that entire year? <laughs> Stash house. Hot tub. Duck. Oh. No. That didn't blow up the car. This game's gonna go by too fast for me to get a Wilson, I think, but I can try. Is that whiskey? What you got there? Vodka. Very good. I'm not sure how to play this map. I'll learn though. I was definitely most excited about this map coming into the season update because it kind of reminds me of 
Black Ops 2 raid, but specifically the little bank vault area because there's money everywhere and it just seems like very small and I like it. Quick and fast moving. That's so fun. I like that. It's like the developers know that we are quick and fast moving gamers. Look at this speed and precision. I'm going. <laughs> You have to win that. I was so confused. Okay, we got a UAV. Can we get a Wilson? That'd be great. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Hello. Excuse me, coming through. Oh, no. How'd you stick me? <laughs> I think to heal my inner gamer, though, in the past couple of months, I have been doing the best I can. I have been playing a bunch of Spyro. I feel like I mentioned that every video, but I've beaten Spyro twice in the past six months, and I'm still also streaming it, so I like Spyro a lot. <laughs> Definitely my ultimate comfort game. Can I help you? I haven't even been playing Animal Crossing. Who is she? I used to play Animal Crossing every single day for three years straight, and then I don't know what happened. I just stopped. Oh, my shot. <laughs> that was not good. Oh, I don't like that. It reminds me of the ring. Oh no, Samara. I was ready to see Samara come through the screen. I hate static TVs, it freaks me out. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do, very good game. I'm in here now, didn't mean for that to happen. How do you maneuver this video game? I'm dismantling everything. <laughs> Oof. Well, so far I like the Ram 9, I can tell you that much. It's a very good SMG. It feels like many other SMGs though. I, I don't know if I'd pick this one over any other one, but it's nice, I like it. What are you doing in the truck? Oh, nice. Check the player. <laughs> he was so rude. He had a job to do and he completed it very well. Mosquito. I feel like I'm not saying much, I'm just playing the video game, which you know, that is how you play video games, you, you play. Wow, Hannah. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Edit that out. Sometimes I say the biggest brain things, and they're not very big brain, are they? They won't notice me, right? There's no way. Absolutely no way. Hi. <laughs> oh, I got a camo. Nice. I don't think I'm gonna get Wilson, guys. I'm too out of shape in regards to Call of Duty gameplay. I guess I'll just have to get back into the swing of things by streaming. So if you guys want to follow me over on Twitch... Twitch.tv slash Noisy Butters. You can see the rest of my rebrand over there too. It's really good. I'm so excited to debut it. It's amazing. It's, we took a long time working on it, but it was so worth it. If y'all wanna know the team who did it, uh, they're called Paper Crowns. Extremely talented, creative team. I'm so happy and honored I got to work with them. I also wanna mention another game that I've been playing recently that makes me so happy and I've missed this so much is Borderlands the pre-sequel. Y'all know I've been playing Borderlands too. Obviously I talk about it, you know, all the time. It's basically my personality at this point. The last time I played the pre-sequel was when I had just freshly graduated college and I was playing it on a giant um, screen TV on a couch. So it was like the classic gaming experience, but now I'm excited to play it at my PC, like a, like a gamer, like how I am today which is me now. I am gamer now. Hannah, Hannah, Hannah. I'm happy to play the pre-sequel, not on a big screen TV on the couch. I'm excited to play it at my desk. I stab. Come here. Oh. Big Dury, I hope I'm not the last kill because I came out swinging with a knife and not hitting. But 52 kills, 55 seconds on the objective. Objective player. I'm not the final kill, thank goodness. It's Johnny Sins, I've never heard that name before. Yeah, I've only played for about 30 minutes, but so far so good. I'm really enjoying this season two update. And I'm sure I'm gonna revisit Warzone here eventually. I know it's been highly requested on my channel, but Warzone 2 was just not the move for me. I said this before. Like I said, 2023, a fever dream. <laughs> I think that's everything I want to go ahead and talk about for today's video. Um, as for the listing, the guy says that he thinks he's going to hang on to it for a bit unless he gets that good of an offer. But I had to let him know that he has an absolute COD esports relic in his hands and that it was just really cool to see. And talking about it made me really happy too. But that's all I've got. Like, comment, please subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Whatever I make, bye 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 Call of Duty. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> I'm so glad that happened. I'm happy to be here, happy to play some Call of Duty, happy to get back into gaming. Um, I feel good, and I, I really needed a moment of uh, decompressing. So thank you guys for being patient with me as I kind of figure things out and get settled into the new place. So thank you. I'm coming back here pretty soon, getting to the swing of things and getting on a roll. So I will see you guys the next thing, whatever I do. I already said that. Bye-bye. Wow, it's like two outros in one. Bye.